What important organelle is found in the mesophyll layer of the leaf? The mesophyll, from the Greek terms mesos, meaning middle, and phylum, meaning leaf. Of a leaf consists of masses of parenchyma cells that are packed with chloroplasts important for photosynthesis. The palisade parenchyma comprises columnar layers of parenchyma cells found beneath the epidermis of many leaves. The spongy parenchyma is a mass of cells that are irregular in shape and often highly branched. There are large intercellular spaces in the spongy parenchyma that function in gas exchange and the passage of water vapor from the leaves. These spaces are connected to the stomata. What is DNA acetylation? DNA acetylation refers to the addition of an acetyl, CH3 co group to one of the histone proteins that help hold DNA in its tightly wound configuration. When hist ones are altered by this change, the binding between hist ones and DNA is relaxed. This promotes transcription in eukaryotic cells. Can cobras really hypnotize their prey? While hypnotism would be a fortunate side effect, it is thought that the semi-erect posture and swaying motion are probably used by the cobra to estimate the distance to its prey. African cobras don't strike at their target, rather, they spit venom at threats up to 6 feet 1.9 meters away. To do this, they need to take visual aim. What is the NIMBY syndrome? NIMBY is the acronym for Not In My Backyard. It refers to major community resistance. To construction of new incinerators, landfills, prisons, roads, and so forth. NIMBY is not in my front yard. What is the average size of a gene? The average size of a vertebrate gene is about 30,000 base pairs. Bacteria, because their sequences contain only coding material, have smaller genes of about 1,000 base pairs each. Human genes are in the 20,000 to 50,000 base pair range. Although sizes greater than 100,000 base pairs have been suggested as well. What are some of the tests scientists use to identify major types of organic compounds in living organisms? Scientists use different tests to detect the presence of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Commonly used tests include the Benedict's test for reducing sugars. 
the iodine test for starch, the biorid test for proteins. The Sudan 4 test and the grease spot test for lipids, and the disc diphenylamine test for nucleic acids. Who discovered the first known hormone? The British physiologists William Bayliss, 1860-1924, and Ernest Starling, 1866-1927, discovered secretin in 1902. They used the term hormone, from the Greek word hormon, meaning to set in motion, to describe the chemical substance they had discovered that stimulated an organ at a distance from the chemical site of origin. Their famous experiment using anesthetized dogs demonstrated that dilute hydrochloric acid mixed with partially digested food, activated a chemical substance in the duodenum. This activated substance, secretin was released into the bloodstream and came in contact with cells of the pancreas. In the pancreas it stimulated secretion of digestive juice into the intestine through the pancreatic duct. What is cDNA? Complementary DNA, cDNA, is single-stranded DNA that is complementary to a certain sequence of messenger RNA. It is usually formed in a laboratory by the action of the enzyme reverse transcriptase on a messenger RNA template. Complementary DNA is a popular tool for molecular hybridization or cloning studies. What is Lamarckian evolution? The French biologist Jean Baptiste de Lamarck. 1744 to 1829, is credited as the first person to propose a theory that attempts to explain how and why evolutionary change occurs in living organisms. The mechanism Lamarck proposed is known as the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Meaning that what individuals experience during their lifetime will be passed along to their offspring as genetic traits. This is sometimes referred to as the theory of use and disuse. A classic example of this would be the giraffe's neck. Lamarckian evolution would predict that as giraffes stretch their necks to reach higher branches on trees, their necks grow longer. As a result, this increase in neck length will be transmitted to egg and sperm such that the offspring of giraffes whose necks have grown will also have long necks. While Lamarck's idea was analytically based on available data, giraffes have long necks and give birth to offspring with long necks as well, he did not know that. In general, environmental factors do not change genetic sequences in such a direct fashion. Can I see a gene? No. 
a gene cannot be seen because it is submicroscopic. We can see a chromosome, which contains genes. And geneticists can pinpoint the location of a gene on that chromosome, but the actual gene cannot be seen. How does the dentition of animals reflect their diet? Herbivores have sharp incisors to bite off blades of grass and other plant matter. They also have a system of flat premolas and molars for grinding and crushing grasses and plant matter. Carnivores have pointed incisors and enlarged canine teeth to tear off pieces of meat. Their premolas and molars are jagged to aid in chewing flesh. Omnivores have non-specialized teeth to accommodate a diet of both plant material and animals. Why does the size of the nucleolus vary in cells? Cells with a high rate of protein synthesis have a large number of ribosomes. In these active cells, nucleoli tend to be large and can account for 20 to 25% of the nuclear volume. What is the most efficient animal? Efficiency may be judged by a variety of measures. And thus it is difficult to pick the most efficient animal. For example, small animals tend to be much less efficient than larger. Ones at conserving the heat required to run their metabolic reactions. Conversely, many small animals are much more efficient at reproduction. Compare the reproductive output of a roach to that of an elephant. Therefore, determining the comparative efficiency of different animals depends upon what attributes are selected for measurement. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. In two seconds, it has been timed at speeds of 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour, over short distances. In most chases cheetahs average around 40 miles per hour, 63 kilometers per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of 0.25 mi, 0.4 kilometers. What is polyploidy? Polyploidy is a condition where complete, extra sets of chromosomes are contained within cells. Polyploid individuals are described as being 3N, triploid, 4N, tetraploid, and so on. Humans cannot survive as polyploids and rarely as aneuploids.
What are the potential uses of stem cells? Stem cells could be used to grow new hearts that could be transplanted without fear of rejection. They could be used to renew the function of injured structures like the spinal cord. They could be used as cell models for drug testing, thereby increasing the speed for finding cures. What is a bioreactor? A bioreactor is a large vessel in which a biological reaction or transformation occurs. Bioreactors are used in bioprocessing technology to carry out large-scale mammalian cell culture and microbial fermentation. How long does it take to produce a mature pine cone? From the time young cones appear on the tree, it takes nearly three years for them to mature. The sporangia of a pine tree are located on scale like Sporophylls that are densely packed in structures called cones. Conifers, like all seed plants, are heterosporous. Meaning that male and female gametophytes develop from spores produced by separate cones. Small pollen cones produce microspores that develop into the male gametophytes or pollen grains. Larger, Ovulate cones make megaspores that develop into female gametophytes. Each tree usually has both types of cones. This three-year process culminates in the production of male and female gametophytes. Brought together through pollination, and the formation of mature seeds from the fertilized ovules. The scales of ovulate cones then separate, and the seeds are scattered by wind. A seed that lands on a habitable place germinates, its embryo emerging as a pine seedling. Which tree that is native to the United States has become extinct due to fungus? The American chestnut, Castinia dentate marsh, was widespread across eastern North America until the early 1900s. This type of chestnut tree made up almost half of the population of hardwood. Forests in central and southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and southern New England. In its entire range, the species dominated deciduous forests, making up almost one quarter of the trees. The fungus Cryphonectria parasitica, commonly known as chestnut blight, destroyed nearly every specimen of the American chestnut tree. How many Nobel Prizes have been awarded in genetics? Of the 162 Nobel Prizes awarded in the category for physiology or medicine, 42 prizes, 26%, have been awarded in genetics. This far exceeds other categories, the closest in number is disease treatment.
with 24 prizes, 15%. Who proposed that the left side of the brain has different functions than the right side of the brain? Roger Sperry, 1913-1994, conducted the pioneering research on the different functions of the left side and right side of the brain. The left side of the brain controls language, logic, and mathematical abilities. In contrast, the right side of the brain is associated with imagination. Spatial perception, artistic and musical abilities, and emotions. Sperry received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1981 for his work. How did scientists decide that DNA was the genetic material for all cellular organisms? The proof that the material basis for a gene is DNA came from the work of Oswald T. Avery, 1877-1955, Colin M. McLeod, 1909 to 1972 and Mocklin McCarty 1911 in a paper published in 1944 this group of scientists followed the work of Griffith in order to discover what causes non-lethal bacteria to transform to a lethal strain using specific enzymes all parts of the five lethal bacteria were degraded, including the sugar-like coat, the proteins, and the RNA. The degradation of these substances by enzymes did not affect the transformation process. Finally, when the lethal bacteria were exposed to DNAs, an enzyme that destroys DNA, all transformation activity ceased. The transforming factor was DNA. Do animals other than humans have fingerprints? It is known that gorillas and other primates have fingerprints. Of special interest, however, is that our closest relative, the chimpanzee does not. Koala bears also have fingerprints. Researchers in Australia have determined that the fingerprints of koala bears closely resemble those of human fingerprints in size, shape, and pattern. What is the first wild flower to bloom each year in the northern portions of the United States? The first flower to bloom during spring in the northern section of the United States is rarely seen because it blooms in swamps. Spathyma fetitis commonly called skunk cabbage, appears in northern swamps during February. The first wildflower to bloom each year in New England and the Midwest is typically hepatica. Also known as liver leaf, which blooms in March or early April. Is influenza a serious viral disease?
the influenza virus is probably the most lethal virus in human history. It is an acute respiratory disease characterized by fever, chills, headache, generalized muscular aches, and a frequent cough. Influenza affects people of all ages, but can be particularly severe for the very young. The very old, and people with complications due to other diseases. It is estimated that within 18 months during 1918 to 1919, there were 200 million cases of influenza. Causing 21 million deaths worldwide. What factors have contributed to the success of seed plants? Seed plants do not require water for sperm to swim to an egg during reproduction. Pollen and seeds have allowed them to grow in almost all terrestrial habitats. The sperm of seed plants is carried to eggs in pollen. Grains by the wind or animal pollinators such as insects. Seeds are fertilized eggs that are protected by a seed. Coat until conditions are proper for germination and growth. Seeds are also dispersed by wind or animals. What is biomagnification? Some compounds are not recycled by decomposers, nor are they released into the atmosphere like energy. Instead, they remain in the ecosystem in virtually unchanged form as they are passed from one organism to another by predation. If a larger fish consumes five smaller ones every day for several years, some of the compounds in the flesh of those little fishes will be transferred to the larger fish as it builds and repairs its own structures. Over time, the larger fish will accumulate many units of such compounds. An example of these compounds is the pesticide DDT. The toxic effects of DDT may not be apparent in the small concentrations found in the little fishes. But the accumulation over time in the larger fish will allow the effects to be magnified. This may become even more apparent as the chemicals move up the trophic pyramid to the top predators like the birds, or humans, that eat those larger fishes. To describe this phenomenon, ecologists use the terms biomagnification and bioaccumulation in recognition of the disproportional effect these toxins have on the upper levels of the ecological pyramid. What has been the impact of zebra mussels on North American waterways? Zebra mussels, Dryasina polymorpha, are black and white striped bivalve mollusks. They are hard shelled species that adhere to hard surfaces with bissel threads. They were probably introduced to North America in 1985 or 1986 via discharge of a foreign ship's ballast water into Lake St. Clair. They have spread throughout the Great Lakes the Mississippi River, and as far east as the Hudson River. 
high densities of zebra mussels have been found in the intakes. Pipes, and heat exchangers of waterways throughout the world. They can clog the water intakes of power plants, industrial sites, and public drinking water systems. Foul boat hulls and engine cooling water systems. And disrupt aquatic ecosystems. Water processing facilities must be cleaned manually to rid the systems of the mussels. Zebra mussels are a threat to surface water resources because they reproduce quickly. Have free swimming larvae and rapid growth, lack competitors for space or food, and have no predators. What is a gene family? Genes are organized into groups called gene families. Many genes have overlapping sequences with each other. Those that share between 30 and 90% of their sequences are grouped together in families. Gene families may range in size from just a few genes to several thousand. An example of a gene family is the group of genes that code for histones. Histones are proteins important for maintaining DNA in a particular shape. Why can fossils be misleading? The fossil record is biased toward organisms who were very common. Who may have had hard shells or bony structures, and whose species lasted a long time. Therefore, it does not give us a full picture of what species may have been active. In the evolutionary past, fossils are also unlikely to record soft structure. Changes such as an increase in muscle mass or the development of new organ systems. Do fungi only decompose dead and decaying organic matter? Not only do fungi consume dead and decaying organic matter, but some attack living plants and animals as they serve as a source for necessary organic molecules. Fungi often cause diseases among plants and animals. They are some of the most harmful pests to living plants and are Responsible for billions of dollars in agricultural losses each year. Food products that have been harvested and stored are not immune to fungal decay. Fungi often secrete substances into the foods they attack, making the foods unpalatable or even poisonous. What is anthrax? Bacillus anthracis, the etiologic agent of anthrax, is a large, gram-positive, non-modal, spore-forming, bacterial rod. The three virulence factors of B. anthracis are edematous toxins, lethal toxins, and capsular antigens. There are three major, clinical forms of human anthrax, cutaneous, inhalational, and gastrointestinal. If left untreated, anthrax in all forms can lead to septicemia and death.
Where does respiration take place? Different types of animals have different respiratory organs for gas exchange. Four two hundred and eighty six types of respiratory organs are one skin, two gills, three trachea, and four lungs. Many invertebrates and some vertebrate animals, including amphibians, breathe through their skin. Many of the animals that breathe through their skin, a process known as cutaneous respiration, are small, long, and flattened for example, earthworms and flatworms. All animals that rely on their skin for respiration live in moist, damp places in order to keep their body surfaces moist. Capillaries Small blood vessels bring blood rich in carbon dioxide and deficient in oxygen to the skin's surface, where gaseous exchange takes place via diffusion. Gills may be external extensions of the body surface such as those found in aquatic insect larvae and some aquatic amphibians. Diffusion of oxygen occurs across the gill surface into capillaries. While carbon dioxide diffuses out of the capillaries into the environment. Fish and some other marine animals have internal gills. Water enters the animals through the mouth. Then flows over the gills in a steady stream and out through gill slits. Although some animals with gills spend part of the time on land, they all must spend some time in moist, wet environments for the gills to function. Lungs are internal structures found in most terrestrial animals where gas exchange occurs. The lungs are lined with moist epithelium to avoid their becoming desiccated. Some animals, including lungfish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals, have special muscles to help move air in and out of the lungs. Some animals have lungs connected to the outside surface with special openings, and do not require special muscles to move air in and out of the lungs. Insects have a system of internal tubes, called tracheae, that lead from the outside world to internal regions of the body via spiracles. Gaseous exchange takes place in the tracheae. Some insects rely on muscles to pump the air in and out of the tracheae, while in others the process is a passive exchange of gases. Some spiders have book lungs in addition to trachea. Book lungs are hollow, leaf-like structures through which the blood flows. These lungs hang in an open space that is connected to a tube. The other side of the tube is in open contact with the air. Who is considered the first histologist? Marcelo Malpighi, 1628-1694, is considered the first histologist. For his pioneering work in the science of microscopic anatomy. He used the newly developed tool of the time, the microscope, to examine living things including both plants and animals. His observations included that blood passed through the capillaries and extensive work on insect larvae.
How is the gender of alligator embryos determined? The gender of an alligator is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. High temperatures of 90 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius, result in males. Low temperatures of 82 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, yield females. This determination takes place during the second and third week of the two-month incubation. Further temperature fluctuations before or after this time do not alter the gender of the young. The heat from the decaying matter on top of the nest incubates the eggs. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi? Members of the kingdom fungi range from single cellid yeasts to Armillaria ostoi. A species that covers 2,200 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread. The mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts. Puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi, and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth. Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber. Attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. What is the difference between the root system and the shoot system of vascular plants? The root system is the part of the plant below ground level. It consists of the roots that absorb water and various ions necessary for plant nutrition. The root system anchors the plant in the ground. The shoot system is the part of the plant above ground level. It consists of the stem and leaves. The stem provides the framework for the positioning of the leaves. The leaves are the sites of photosynthesis. How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground. How is yeast utilized in food and beverage manufacturing? Yeast is used in wine making, beer making, and bread making. Yeast converts food into alcohol and carbon dioxide, 
CO2, during fermentation. In the manufacture of wine and beer. The yeast's manufacture of alcohol is a desired and necessary component of the final product. The CO2 is what gives beer and champagne their bubbly effect. Bread making requires the CO2 produced by yeast for certain doughs to rise. Yeasts used in brewing and baking are cultivated strains carefully kept to prevent contamination. Why is Rosalind Franklin called the Dark Lady of DNA? Rosalind Franklin, 1920-1958, was a chemist by training. She worked at King's College, London, in 1951 in the lab of John Randall, 1905-1984. Both Franklin and Randall were working on the structure of DNA using the relatively new field of X-ray crystallography. Through meticulous research on the DNA molecule, Franklin took photographs that indicated a helical structure. Randall presented Franklin's work at a seminar where it was then, without Franklin's knowledge, provided to the competitors, Watson and Crick, at Cambridge University. This research was crucial to the detailed description of DNA that was published in 1953. Because the Nobel Prize is only awarded to the living, Franklin, who died of cancer in 1958, did not share the award when it was given to Watson, Crick, and Wilkins in 1962. What is meant by a jumping gene? A jumping gene is a gene that can move from one location to another in a chromosome or can even jump from one chromosome to another. Another name for a jumping gene is a transposon. What is an ion? An ion is an atom that is charged by the loss or gain of electrons. For example, when an atom gains one or more electrons, it becomes negatively charged. When an atom loses one or more electrons, it becomes positively charged. Which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Epiornis maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 in, 34 centimeters, in length and 9.5 in, 24 centimeters, in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 in, 15 to 20.5 centimeters, in length and 4 to 6 in, 5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 in, 1 centimeter, in length, 
is that of the vervane hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica. Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest. The kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the largest egg relative to body size of any living bird. Its egg weighs up to 1 pound 0.5 kilograms. What does the word amphibian mean? The word amphibian, from the Greek term amphibia, means both lives and refers to the animal's double life on land and in water. The usual life cycle of amphibians begins with eggs laid in water which develop into aquatic larvae with external gills, in a development that recapitulates its evolution. The fish-like larva develops lungs and limbs and becomes an adult. What government departments fund the Human Genome Project? In the United States the project is funded primarily by the Department of Energy, DOE, and the National Institutes of Health, NIH. Funding from the DOE grew from a need to research the effects of both radiation and the chemical byproducts of energy production on genes. In Europe, Funding was provided by the European Commission, Charities and National Research Councils. Why are dilution techniques important to biologists? Dilution techniques provide simple and accurate procedures to 1. Change the concentration of a solution. 2. Indirectly weigh a solute whose weight is significantly below the usual limits of analytical balances, and 3. Determine the quantity of bacteria in a culture. How many mitochondria are there in a cell? The number of mitochondria varies according to the type of cell. The number ranges 44 between 1 and 10,000, but averages about 200. Each cell in the human liver has the structure of a chloroplast. Over 1,000 mitochondria cells with high energy requirements, such as muscle cells, may have many more mitochondria. What is the value of fossils to the study of evolution? Fossils are the preserved remains of once living organisms. The value of fossils comes not only from the information they give us about the structures of those animals. The placement of common fossils in the geologic layers also gives researchers a method for dating other, lesser known, samples.
Do fish drink water? Marine bony fishes such as tuna, flounder, and halibut drink sea water almost constantly to replace water lost by osmosis and through their gills. It is estimated that they drink an amount equal to 1% of their body weight each hour. An amount comparable to a human drinking 1.5 pints or nearly 3 cups. 700 milliliters of water every hour around the clock. The gills eliminate most of the excess salts obtained by drinking large quantities of seawater. The fishes excrete small quantities of urine that is isotonic to their body fluids. By contrast, cartilaginous fishes, e. g. sharks and rays, do not need to drink water to maintain the balance of water. Osmotic balance, in their bodies. They reabsorb the waste product urea. Creating and maintaining a blood urea concentration that is 100 times higher than that of mammals. Their kidneys and gills thus do not have to remove large quantities of salts from their bodies. Freshwater fishes never drink water separate from ingesting food. These fishes are prone to gain water since their body fluids are hypotonic. Containing a lesser concentration of salts, to the surrounding water. They imbibe water through their gills to maintain the correct balance of salts in their bodies and excrete large quantities of diluted urine daily. It is estimated that freshwater fishes eliminate a quantity of urine equal to one third of their body weight each day. What are the components of the circulatory system? The components of the circulatory system are vessels, heart, and blood. The three types of vessels in a closed circulatory system are arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries transport blood away from the heart to the various organs in the body. Veins return blood to the heart after it circulates through the body. Capillaries form an elaborate network of tiny vessels that convey blood between arteries and veins. Why is light important for living organisms? Virtually all life depends on the availability of light. Which powers photosynthesis, the process of synthesizing energy. Light travels in waves, and its energy is contained in packets called photons. The energy of a photon is inversely proportional to the wavelength. Of the light the longer the wavelength, the less energy per photon. Sunlight consists of a spectrum of colors present in light. What animal has the largest home range? The home range of an adult polar bear may cover an area of 20,000 square miles 50,000 square kilometers.
This is an area about the size of Nova Scotia in Canada. The home range of each polar bear varies due to food availability and condition of the ice. What was the distribution of radioactive fallout after the 1986 Chernobyl accident? On April 25-26, 1986, the world's worst nuclear power accident occurred at Chernobyl in the former USSR, now Ukraine. While scientists were testing one of the four reactors at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, located 80 miles 129 kilometers north of Kiev, an unusual chain reaction occurred in the reactor. This subsequently led to explosions and a fireball that blew the heavy steel and concrete lid of the reactor. Radioactive fallout, containing the isotope cesium-137, and nuclear contamination covered an enormous area. Including Belarusia, Latvia, Lithuania, the central portion of what was then the Soviet Union. The Scandinavian countries, the Ukraine, Poland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Switzerland, Northern Italy. Eastern France, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Yugoslavia, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. The fallout, extremely uneven because of the shifting wind patterns. Extended 1,200 to 1,300 miles, 1,930 to 2,090 kilometers, from the point of the accident. The accident led to the release of roughly 5% of the reactor fuel. Or 7 tons of fuel containing 50 to 100 million curies. Estimates of the effects of this fallout range from 28,000 to 100. 000 deaths from cancer and genetic defects within the subsequent 50 years. In particular, livestock in high rainfall areas received lethal dosages of radiation. Why do we die without oxygen? Most living organisms are aerobic, that is, they require oxygen to complete the total breakdown of glucose. As many as 36 ATP are produced through aerobic metabolism of one glucose molecule. Without oxygen, cells do not synthesize enough ATP to maintain a multicellular organism. Most people think that we need oxygen to breathe, but actually we need oxygen to recycle. The spent electrons and hydrogen ions, H+, produced as byproducts of aerobic respiration. With these byproducts, oxygen combines and forms metabolic water. Which plants have been used to create dyes? Natural materials, including many plants, were the source of all dyes until the late 19th century. Blue dye was historically rare and was obtained from the indigo plant, Indigo tincturia. Another color difficult to obtain for dye was red. The matter plant, Rubia tinctorum. 
was an excellent source of red dye and was used for the famous red coats of the British Army. How long can bacterial spores remain dormant? In 1995 scientists revived bacillus spores from the digestive tract of an amber encased. Stingless Dominican bee, Proplabia dominicana, which lived from 25 million to 40 million years ago. Previously documented records based on ampules that Louis Pasteur collected indicated that spores were able to survive for only 70 years. Why are proteins among the most complex molecules? Among the major bioorganic molecules, only proteins require up to four levels of structure in order to be functional. In addition, Relatively slight environmental changes cause a shift in structural levels that may be sufficient to radically change the function of the protein. The structural levels of protein and the functions they provide are Primary, a polypeptide chain of up to 500 amino acids covalently bonded. Secondary, the formation of hydrogen bonds between nearby amino acids causes the polypeptide chain to twist and slash or pleat. Tertiary, distant amino acids form bonds and associations. In reaction to changes that occur in the secondary level. Quaternary, Two separate polypeptide chains intermingle to form a molecule that has a larger, more complex structure than that found in the other protein levels. Can two populations occupy the same niche? According to G. F. Gauze, 1910-1988, an ecologist, two species that are in direct competition for the same resource cannot coexist if that resource is limited in some way. The work of Gauze and others predicts that under such conditions, one population will drive the other to extinction in that local area. The total amount of waste is distributed as follows. How critical is the problem of landfills in the United States? Landfilling has been an essential component of waste management for several decades. In 1960, 62% of all garbage was sent to landfills, and by 1980 the figure had risen to 81%. By 1990, 84% of the 269 million tons of municipal Solid waste that was generated was sent to landfills. An increased awareness of the benefits of recycling has brought a decline in the actual number of landfills from 4,482 in 1995 to 2. 142 in 2000 as well as a decrease in the amount of municipal solid waste that is sent to landfills. 
figures for 2000 indicate that only 60% of the municipal solid waste generated was sent to landfills. The total amount of recycled waste increased from 8% to 33% between 1990 and 2000. What is unusual about Ammonita mushrooms? Some of the most poisonous mushrooms belong to the genus Ammonita. Toxic species of this genus have been known by the names Death Angel, Ammonita phalloides, and Destroying Angel, Ammonita virosa. Ingestion of a single cap of either of these species can kill a healthy, adult human. Even ingesting a tiny bit of amatoxin the toxin present in species of this genus may result in liver ailments that will last the rest of a person's life. What are the two most common media to grow bacteria? Beef extract and peptones, hydrolyzed protein, are the basic ingredients of nutrient broth. These materials supply a variety of carbon sources. Nitrogen compounds in the form of amino acids, and a mixture of cofactors such as vitamins. The addition of agar, a complex carbohydrate extracted from seaweed, results in a solid medium. Agar is an ideal solidifying agent for microbiological media because of its melting properties and because it has no nutritive value for the vast majority of bacteria. Solid agar melts at 194 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, Liquid agar solidifies at about 103 degrees Fahrenheit 42 degrees Celsius. What is transcription? Transcription is the synthesis of an mRNA strand from a DNA template sequence, commonly known as a gene. The mRNA is then used as a pattern for building a polypeptide. How long does protein synthesis take in bacteria, once mRNA is formed? The bacteria E. coli can add an amino acid in only 0.05 second. That means that synthesizing a protein of 300 amino acids takes only 15 seconds. What characteristics distinguish a leaf from a leaflet? The two criteria used to distinguish a leaf from a leaflet are 1. Buds are found in the axils of leaves but not in the axils of leaflets, and 2. Leaves extend from the stem in various planes while the leaflets of a given leaf all lie in the same plane. What are some diseases that affect the nervous system?
epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and Parkinson's disease are all diseases of the nervous system. Epilepsy is a nervous system disorder in which clusters of neurons in the brain sometimes signal abnormally. In epilepsy the normal pattern of neuronal activity becomes disturbed, causing strange sensations. Emotions, and behavior, or sometimes convulsions, muscle spasms, and loss of consciousness. Epilepsy is a disorder with many possible causes. Anything that disturbs the normal pattern of neuron activity from Illness to brain damage to abnormal brain development can lead to seizures. Epilepsy may develop because of an abnormality in brain wiring. An imbalance of nerve signaling chemicals called neurotransmitters, or some combination of these factors. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that results from degeneration of neurons in a region of the brain that controls movement. This degeneration creates a shortage of the brain signaling chemical, neurotransmitter, known as dopamine, causing the movement impairments that characterize the disease. What plants are commonly used in the perfume industry? Perfumes are made of a mixture of a large variety of scents. Although many perfumes are created synthetically, the expensive designer scents still use natural essential oils extracted from plants. The perfume industry uses all parts of the plant to create a unique blend of scents. How many enzymes are there? Approximately 5,000 enzymes have been named, but there may be a total of 20,000 or more. A metabolic pathway may require a whole complex of enzymes to complete hundreds of reactions. What is electrophoresis? Electrophoresis is a technique used to separate biological molecules, such as nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and amino acids. Based on their movement due to the influence 532 of a direct electric current in a buffered solution. Positively charged molecules move toward the negative electrode. While negatively charged molecules move toward the positive electrode. What is estivation? Estivation, from the Latin term estes, meaning summer, is a process by which animals become dormant during the summer rather than the winter. Estivation may be used as a survival strategy against intense heat. Ground squirrels, drought, snails, or both. The Colombian ground squirrel both hibernates and estivates. Beginning its dormant period in the late summer and continuing it until the next May.
How is it possible to measure the pH of a solution? An easy way to measure the pH of a solution is with pH paper. This paper is treated with a chemical indicator that changes colors. Depending on the concentration of H+, hydrogen ions, in the solution. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats consist of double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. What part of the papyrus plant, Cypyrus papyrus, was used to make paper? The central pith of the stalk or stem of the papyrus plant was cut into thin strips, pressed together, and dried to form a smooth writing surface. The thin strips were placed side by side longitudinally, and crossed at right angles with another set of strips. The finished product was a pure white sheet of paper. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are incredibly strong in relation to their size. Most ants can carry objects 10 to 20 times their own weight. And some ants can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back, and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. How do cells secrete substances? The release of material from a cell is known as exocytosis. First the cell forms the cell product and then packages it. The package, or vesicle, is comprised of the same material that makes up the cell membrane. When the vesicle reaches the membrane, the two structures merge together much like air bubbles do in liquid. The contents of the vesicle are then expelled from the cell. For example, secretory cells that manufacture specific proteins, such as the pancreatic cells that manufacture insulin. Use the process of exocytosis to secrete insulin into the blood. Who invented the compound microscope?
the principle of the compound microscope, in which two or more lenses are arranged to form an enlarged image of an object. Occurred independently, at about the same time, to more than one person. Certainly many opticians were active in the construction of telescopes at the end of the 16th century. Especially in Holland. So it is likely that the idea of the microscope may have occurred to several of them independently. In all probability the date may be placed within the period 1590-1609. And the credit should go to three spectacle makers in Holland. Hans Janssen, his son Zacharias, 1580-1638, and Hans Lippershey, 1570-1619, have all been cited at various times as deserving chief credit. An Englishman, Robert Hook, 1635-1703, was the first to make the best use of a compound microscope. And his book Micrographia, published in 1665, contains some of the most beautiful drawings of microscopic observations ever made.